Today's video is going to be corn tortillas, only instead of corn, it's going to be made with pork rinds. I've got one and a half cup pork rinds. I've got four tablespoons of egg white powder, two tablespoons of protein powder. I've got a quarter teaspoon of Redmond's Real Salt, and I'm also going to be adding about three-fourths cups of water. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the salt and I'm going to put it in my pork brine mix and then I'm going to get hot tap water. And you want to make sure it's hot. And I know this measuring thing's about a cup, so that's about three-fourths cup. I may or may not use all of it. And I'm just going to slowly pour some in and then I'm going to mix it. And I can see it's still kind of crummy, so I'm going to pour some more in. Because I want the pork rinds to soak up a lot of that juice. And it's still a little bit crummy, so I'm going to pour a little bit more in. All right. So you can see most of the crumbs have soaked up the juice. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my egg white powder in here. I'm going to put my protein isolate and I'm going to mix that. So let me hit pause while I mix this. All right, I've got it mixed and you can see how it kind of forms a dough. So what I do, I cheat a little bit. Um, I actually use a tortilla press, but I put parchment on the bottom and then I just cut a quart bag in half that's going to go on the top and you'll see why in a minute. But before I start that, I'm going to go ahead and get my pan heat and I've got a freshly clean cast iron skillet. I've coated it with bacon grease and I am going to turn it on to about there. All right. So now we're going to start this. All right, I'm back. My dear hubby is holding the camera for me because I needed both hands. So I'm gonna use just an ice cream scoop. It makes it easier. I don't know what size ice cream scoop this is, so hopefully you can figure that out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop the batter into this. And then I'm gonna put the plastic over it. And I'm going to squish it down just like a tortilla, but I'm not going to like be heavy handed with it. I'm going to push press it some and you'll see here in a sec. So I'm probably going to press that a little bit more. And there I got a little bit of a tortilla going. So, Good stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to gently peel back this top. And the reason I say gently is if you go too fast, you're gonna wind up taking up these edges. So that way it's gonna stay on the parchment paper. And we're gonna pause it because the pan's not quite heated yet. We'll be back in a sec. All right, I'm gonna keep it on the parchment paper as you can see, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna flip this upside down on the pan. And I use my fingers to press it down, but you want to make sure you're not touching the pan because it gets very hot. You can also use your spatula and kind of go around the edges because you want it to start cooking. That's what's going to help it release from the parchment paper is once it starts cooking. And you're probably wondering, is this worth the effort? And after last night's dinner, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, you can see pictures of our fajitas on Instagram. 
All right, so now I'm going to peel back the parchment paper, and you want to be kind of slow with it. And you can see where some of it turned white. That's how you can tell it's ready. All right, there we go. And I'm going to keep using this same piece of parchment paper, so I'm going to put it back on my flatbread. Happy goodness. So I'm just going to let that cook for probably about a minute or so. I don't think I've ever timed it. I just kind of look at it and gauge when to flip it. So we'll let that cook. I'm going to go ahead and get another scoop ready, though. While that's cooking. Now I'm flipping it and see how easy it comes up and you can see where it's starting to brown so I'm just going to let it cook on that other side for probably about a minute minute and a half and you can ask hubby he's already said it we had fajitas last night with these pork rind tortillas and it, honestly for me it tasted like a corn tortilla it smelled like a corn tortilla it we're having tacos tonight with it and i'm hoping one night to make enchiladas it's like a proper corn tortilla it is pliable soft and got a little bit of crunch to it it is good we'll show you when this one comes off which it's almost ready to come off i'll flip it over just to look at it see and this is your preference you can cook it a little longer you know, it, it's up to you. I don't really have a time frame. Everyone's stove's different. So let me go ahead and take that off. I'm going to put another one down and then we'll see how this one is. So like I said, I got my parchment paper here. I'm just going to flip it upside down in the pan. And I use my fingers to go around it. That's probably not smart to show you guys. If any kids are watching, don't do this at home. Okay, I'm going around with my spatula and you can see where it's starting to turn white on the edges. That's how you know it's starting to cook and it's getting to where I can remove the parchment paper easily. All right. Like I said, do it slow because you want to see if there's anything clinging on to it. And if there is, then you use the spatula to kind of get it off there. So that spot right there. And there it goes. I got another one cooking. So this one should have cooled enough for me to show you. Just like a corn tortilla. And then we'll cook the rest and we'll look at the whole batch when it's done. Be back with you in a minute. Happy goodness. All right, we're putting the last one on. I'm flipping it over and this is tortilla number nine. So like I said, if you watch it, you want to make it white around the edges so it starts cooking. So that's going to make it where you can peel the parchment paper off of it. If you have a pancake griddle, I'm sure this would be so much easier. We love using cast iron here. I'm sure you can see all our cast iron skillets with all the bacon grease in it because we love bacon too. Probably a little too much. But this seems to be the best way to do this. So I'm just going to gently peel it. All right, so since that's cooking, I wanted to come over here with my flatbread my flattener for tortillas so i got this off amazon i forgot to mention before i got this what i used to do was i would put the parchment paper down on the counter and i would use like a cast iron skillet over like plastic wrap or something and i would squish whatever i was making 
I got this off Amazon. I want to say it was like $10. It was really super cheap. Um, and it works fantastic. It's easy cleanup. It's well worth having. So, but if you don't have one, you can still do this recipe. You just need to use like a pan. There's plenty of tutorials out there on how to make tortillas without a press. And that's how I learned to put the paper down, put plastic over it, and then put a pan on top and it would flatten it. So that makes it super easy. Um, and we'll see y'all in a little bit when we make our tacos. See you later. All right, I'm just finishing up the taco seasoning or the taco meat. All it is is I get like a, it's called carne picada. And it's kind of like ground beef, but not ground as fine. And bacon. And then I use this seasoning right here in it. We get it at a local supermarket, so you'd need to see who sells it in your area. We buy it at Ingalls. Um, but I think they're just kind of local to Northeast Tennessee and um, parts of North Carolina. But this stuff is very good, and here I'll show you. I don't know if you'll be able to read it. But it's very minimal ingredients. I don't even know if you can see that. Let me try it this way. There we go. Very minimal ingredients. That's all that's in it. Alright, so what I'm fixing to do is we made these earlier. And that was probably about two or so hours ago. So I'm just going to pop them in the microwave for about 20 seconds. And that's it. And they'll be nice and warm and ready for the taco stuff. So hold on. Hey, we're back and... I made the tacos and see how the shells are. They're kind of like a soft shell, but I think these can be deep fried to harden or just cook them longer on the thing. But that's all you'd need to do. So we're going to go ahead and try it. And I'd like to stick around and BS with you guys, but this is waiting on me. See ya. I was going to take a bite on camera so Whoa. they could see it. <laughs> oh, you go ahead. I'm going to eat. See ya. Mm-hmm. It's got the same texture and everything as a corn tortilla. I hope you guys try it. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Share it, whatever you want to do. And my leftover taco stuff that I have, I'll be making mac and cheese with that tomorrow. I'll share it on my Instagram page. Bye!